but still the agony we hold is real and very painful. So all I can say at this stage is I have the pain, I share it with you. Let us all pray together that God in his abundant mercy in his own time heal our pain, provide us with consolation and also let us feel secure in the hope we have in Christ. It is in this body, we live in this body, we live as this body and we continue our fellowship with Monica in the body of Christ. She is with us, she enjoys the fellowship in the body of Christ, in the Eucharist, in the prayers and in every liturgical act we But still, the pain continues of our loss. And let us all move together in the faith, share with each other, providing a shoulder for each other to be born and deal with it. And it is my prayer and hope and wish that the consoling presence of the Holy Spirit will lead us into consolation and relief. May God bless us all. Thank you.
creator of all, the one who sits, sets the world and its changes in order, glorious in his commandment and long-suffering and merciful, before whose divine vision secrets do not remain hidden, the depth of thoughts and the meditation of the heart are revealed and manifest before you. Your judgments are incomprehensible and your ways are inscrutable. You did send your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to the world in order to abolish death. He preached life and immortality to every soul that is willing to listen. By your command, we are sent away from this world of suffering to the glories and before you, O Lord Almighty. And the ruler of both worlds, we offer supplication and petition at the time of the funeral of your family, who has separated and left from this world, that you may receive us all through your gentle angels, who takes it and makes it to dwell in the heavenly abodes. Deliver, O Lord, her soul from the grasp of evil spirits. Rescue her from the violence of the enemy. May the host be like my those which surround the devotees of your name, and those who do your will. Revit her sins completely by your love for humanity. Blot out her offenses perfectly by your loving kindness. Send your help for her journey manifestly. Stretch out towards her your right hand full of grace, that she may be drawn out of the whirlpool of second death. Support her by your invisible power. Rescue her from terrible passages of the demon. Do not condemn her for her transgressions, for all are guilty before you. O Lord, have pity on the weakness of our nature. In her and in us, remember your divine name that has been invoked upon us and your abundant mercy. May the venerable passions of your only begotten Son, for the salvation of our race, intercede on our behalf. May your mercy and grace be drawn upon her. May the victorious cross in which she believed become for her a pillar of light that makes her to dwell in the congregation of your saints. May your loving kindness manifest in her that Satan, the enemy of our race, may be put to shame as this evil desire was not fulfilled. Be to this your handmaid, O Lord, fortress guide and guardian and helper, until she reaches the blessed abode of those of your uni. May she rejoice there in your eternal glory, and may she forget her griefs, sorrows, and afflictions, and rejoice in the bosom of Abraham. Make us all your worshippers prepare for all these things that be pure and pleasant life, free from sins. We may have a peaceful departure which is not subdued by evil hosts of darkness. Look at us with merciful eyes, O Lord. Comfort those who are mourning. Console those who are in sorrow. Gladden the face of those who are sad. Remove tears and sorrow from those who glorify you. Be the hope and trust of everyone everywhere according to their need. Grant, O oh Lord, by your grace which upholds all of us, rest with the saints and the blessed abodes to all our parents, brothers and sisters and leaders who have already set on journey towards you in the hope of your Christ and looking for his great and glorious revelation. We look forward to meeting her with confidence without shame that all of us who remain here and the servants already departed and redeemed by your Lordship, may be all worthy to glorify and to exalt your adorable and incomprehensible name in your eternal kingdom. O Lord, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Mm -hmm.
Hallelujah. 
in peace. And listen to the gospel of the living words of God, the holy alien of our Lord Jesus Christ, that is read to us. The Oh, uh-huh. 
was so dedicated and excited to, excited to be able to one day work as a nurse and help other people. Her heart had no bounds. Even though all I ever did was make fun of her and brag on her since I was truly proud of her. I can't imagine living a life where I don't have my baby to talk to. Or yeah, mother just best too. But I guess we're left with no choice. And sad that she is no longer physically here with us anymore. But her spirit will forever be alive in our hearts. As the saying goes, God calls the best first, and Monisha truly was one of the best. Monisha, we love you and will forever miss your presence. <laughs> Let us sing the next two stanzas of the same song. Tankai gala kannu nirella tadamba yendai kuma Great memories with her. 
God gave us this time to celebrate her life. Her life was nothing but happiness, joy, laughter. Everybody in this room, if you knew her, you made fun of her. You joked with her. You laughed at her. You know her three minute delay on any joke. Oh, okay. You know, or hey, that's not good. You know? Everybody knew her. She would come and take care of all our kids. I knew anytime we had a family party, you walk in the door, where's money shit? Here, go. All our kids would just sit with her, play with her, between her and Christine, okay, they would watch all our kids. So I just want everybody to remember the joyous moments in her life, the happy times in her life, the happy times that they had with her. And she wouldn't want to see anybody sad. She wouldn't want to see all of us smiling and laughing and being happy. That's all she wanted in life was everybody to be happy and to enjoy it. So when you guys think of her or talk about her, just keep in front of her, keep laughing at her, keep thinking of all the help she's done for you, the marks she's left in your life, and she'll be keeping the marks of happiness and joy in all our lives, looking down from heaven and guiding us and protecting us. Protecting us with God. I would like to thank his precious Sakarya Smart and the Pogolas. Thank you, Reverend Rajan, for helping our family in this time. He was one of the first people there to be at the hospital, to be with my dear uncle. He was there before all of us. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Deacon Benson. What doing service for us yesterday and helping us. Thank you for all the Ajans for coming, all the deacons for coming and holding service with us for our family. I'd like to thank the St. Stephen's Orthodox Church for all your gracious help. The, all the volunteers, the choir, the time spent with the family, helping raising her as your own child, your own sister, your own Thank you. I'd like to thank Molloy College, all of her friends, the staff, for helping her start her dream and being with her. I'd like to thank the Park Funeral Home, um, Vinny, who's very helpful with everything. We thank you. Last of all, I'd like to thank everybody who's here right now. If you knew her, you didn't know her. Thank you for supporting our family, being with our family in this time. Um, after the cemetery, uh, we're all gathering at my father's house at 109 Shelter Rock Road in New White Park, and our family requested you, if you can, please come after. Thank you. We are approaching almost in the final moment. <coughs> in a after a short prayer, we will be closing the casket. Before we close the casket, I request if you would like to pay your final respects, you may do it now. First, those who are standing, please come only through that. Come in the front and go back to your and go back to your place. You may meet at this time. At that particular time, the choir will be singing the song that is playing in the interview. You may start now. Those who are standing, please. Bye. 
accept the fire may follow the spell. <coughs>
ബാക്കിലെ റോയിന് അങ്ങേ അറ്റത്ത് നിന്ന് ഓരോരുത്തരായിട്ട് എന്തായിരുന്നു ആ ലാസ്റ്റ് റോ തീരുമ്പോൾ ലെസ്റ്റ് റോ ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് സൈഡ് നോട്ട് ഫ്രം ദി സെൽ
Why do you stand afar, my beloved? Draw near to me and give me peace and pray for me and lament for me with sighs. Behold, today that cast me down to the door of Sheol.
put on the dress not woven by human hands. Thus is the resurrection of the righteous. Put on the garment that the Holy Spirit has woven for the children of Adam.